All right, so we have something different for you today. It's a 3D printed walk behind garden tractor. All right, so this model here, it's completely custom built. Every part of it was built on SolidWorks. That's the CAD program I used. And the 3D printer was an Ultimaker 2 Plus. So here's, here's the model here. It's 1 6 scale. And here's our actual machine right here. So what I did is I took all the measurements off this machine, scaled it down to 1 6 the size. And this here is the final product. And there's a little display sheet here, I'm trying to keep the glare off of it. It's a Big Chief 251. 1 6 scale made by the Great Lakes Tractor Company of Rock Creek, Ohio. It's a 1952 model, has a Briggs and Stratton engine, and I made two of them, so there's only two of these out there. Nothing like it. And it took about, uh, what is that, five or six months to, uh, to make. Like I said, it's, it's all completely homemade. Um, it was all designed, 3D printed, and built by myself. <laughs> Here's a manual for the actual tractor. And this here is a picture of the frame. Here's all the here's the picture of the top of the frame, the, the top view. Pan down through here. And here's some pictures of all the parts that I had to design. So here it is. And we'll try to get some more views of it. So here's the view from the front of it. Now this whole model is made of PLA plastic and it's painted with uh, Rust-Oleum gloss enamel. So it's, it's all painted, so it's gonna, it's gonna last a long time. And the attachment here that I made for it is a set of cultivators. I didn't have enough time to make any more attachments, so that's all I got made. I think there's about 40 to 50 separate pieces to this whole thing that I had to glue together and a lot of different all different parts. Okay, so now we can see some of the detail on the engine. For example, you can see the spark plug, the head fins, the head bolts. Here's the air cleaner. Here's the exhaust. Uh, you can actually see the carburetor down here. Here's the gear reducer. And I used rubber bands as my belts. That's how small this thing is. And uh, pretty much the whole thing's plastic, except for these two cross members right here on the handlebars. Those are pieces of steel, and this is a little steel rod that goes up for the engager. Everything else is completely plastic. Here's some detail up here. Here's, here's the throttle, and here's the engager lever. That's how you put it in and out of gear. And the tires are actually two pieces, so so the rim's actually one piece, and then the tire had to mount over the rim, and it's just uh, glued into place. So it's actually two pieces. All right, so here you can see some of the uh, resemblance between the two. All right, so here's a different shot. You can see the size of this thing out front here you know, compared to the actual machine. One sixth the actual size again. Let's try to get some more shots of it here. So on the actual machine, this pin right here, you can pull it up and down and that's how you can change out your different attachments. And it's the same way here on this machine, on the scale model. You can actually pull that pin out and I don't have any other attachments this time. Um, but if you did, that's how you would change them out. Alright, so that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like the channel, subscribe. See ya.